And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be power leveling Carpenter from 50 to 60. And as always, hello from Mr. Blue Sideburns. So, um, it's been a long time without you, my friend. I'm going to sing that song. And um, basically, after Carpenter, there's only armor left. And then Blue will be Grandmaster of the Hand, the second time I've achieved it since the expansion launched. And once Blue is completely finished, then I'll think about doing the new players crafting series on my other role, Ori. The difference between power leveling and the new crafter series is that the new crafting series is designed for people to do it solo. 100% your own weight, no help, minimal amount of gill, and so on. Whereas the power leveling guides are sort of like, do it as quickly as possible, regardless of budget, regardless if other high level crafters help you. So anyway, uh, we've already done the level 50 quest, the new one. Um, that brought us to Foundation. In order to unlock leaves in the expansion Heavensward, you need to have done all of the main scenario for two point, the 2.x series, so everything up until 2.5, including Before the Dawn. And when you do the main scenario, guys, I recommend that you pay attention to the story and so on, watch all the cutscenes, it's a really good story. Then in the Heavensward main scenario quest, you only have to have done the third quest in the main scenario is called the better half once you've done that quest leaves will unlock in foundation and the difference between doing power leveling in the expansion versus doing uh leveling before the expansion which is on the 1 to 50 guide is that you do all of it right here right at this so we're in foundation that's the eighth right plaza right here up the stairs to here to this leave me is the only place you have to be you get the quest from here you turn them in there and that's it so anyway let's see the first quest so i'm already on my carpenter which means the tradecraft leaves will automatically be selected i do not and i have never done the large scale tradecraft leaves they're not worth it in terms of leave allowances they're worth it in terms of gill and material cost but not in allowance terms so let's do leaves let's see 54,000. Uh, 95,000, 109,000. So obviously we're going to pick the 109,000 because the mat is actually not too bad to make and also gives the most reward. It's called So You Think You Can Lance. Except, And that's it. And make sure as well you turn in high quality versions of each item because they give double the reward. So you get twice as much for your leave. So let's hand it over. Hand over. Do you really want to turn in high quality? Yes. So the delivery included one or more high quality items your reward has been increased by 100 percent okay so we're going to get 219,000 experience for doing that one leave so i'm anticipating having to turn this quest in a total of nine times in order to hit level 52 so once we're level 52 we will continue Okay, so we were able to, to hit level 52 by turning in the quest a total of nine times. So now we're back with the leave guy. So let's say tradecraft leaves. We, let's see, 122,000, 20,000, 78,000. So you have cedar fishing rod versus a holy cedar composite bow. Um, what I would recommend actually is doing the cedar fishing rod. Okay, so let's accept. And you will need to do this, I'm anticipating a total of uh, roughly 12 times in order to hit level 54. Now, one thing I also do as well along the way while doing the power leveling guide, as you can see there, we've got 245,000, which is the matter we can get per leave. Once we're level 53, we're actually going to go straight away and do the level 53 carpenter quest, which requires a holy cedar composite bow being turned in. Just so that when I'm level 60, I don't have to go back and do them all from 50 to 60. It's really much quicker to do it like this. So once I'm level 53, I'll get it. So anyway, guys, once I'm level 54, we will continue. Okay, so we were able to hit level 54 by turning in the quest a total of 12 times. Technically 11, but I turned in a 12 just because I had the material spare, so why not? I also got about 80,000 experience bonus for the challenge log as well, if you've done in this many leaves this quickly, if you've not done any other leaves this like weekly reset. So anyway, let's um, carry on. So, Tradecraft leaves. Let's see, 78k, 157k, and 184k. So obviously it's 184k we want because it gives the most reward and in, we need dark chestnut spinning wheels so let's accept let's turn in 
Okay, hand over, hand over. Okay, so I'm anticipating having to turn this in roughly 10 to 12 times in order to hit level 56. At level 55, we'll do the next carpenter quest, which involves handing in a high quality dark chestnut rod. So once we are level 56, we will continue. Okay, so we were able to hit level 56 by turning in the quest roughly 9 times, but I turned it in 3 more times just because I had the material spare. So we're back, and I also did the level 56 quest as well, sorry 55 quest. So let's see, 92k, 198k, 184k. So obviously we want this one, the armor lay, 198 because it gives the most EXP and the mats are... Actually, the mats are quite expensive to make, but whatever, it gives us the most rewards, so... And then... So turn that in. I'm anticipating having to turn this in roughly... Let me think. About 14 times, 12, 14 times to hit level 58. In my case, it'll probably take less, because I'm already, like, halfway to level 57. And at level 58, you need to turn in three high-quality birch lumbers to do the level 58 carpenter quest. So once we are level 58, we will continue. Okay, so we were able to hit level 58 by turning in the quest a total of, well, a total of like 10, so I think like 12 times, but I've done it in a couple more times, we've got the material spare. The level 58 quest, turning in the free birch lumbers, which gave me, sorry, nearly another 500k. So, anyway, so let's do the final push towards 60, yet again. So, Tradecraft leaves, let's see, Birch, please, is 198k, 99k, 200k. So, it's up to you, this is not too bad, depends on your server, to do the free Birch Lumbers, but you have to do it over and over again, remember that, uh, for 198k. But I decided to actually go for this one, the Dragon Scale Grinding Wheels, because on this server, Dragon Scale, which is actually a required material uh, for the item, is um, they sell for like 100 gil each. So the cost of having an um, an Aurum Regus Nugget and two Dragon Scales is less than having a third Birch Lumber. So it's up to you which one you go for, depending on your server and stuff. So let's accept, and that's it. And um, I am already like halfway to um, level 59 so I'm anticipating having to turn this in maybe I don't know 14 times or something to hit level 60 um, and but I have enough I've got like 18 ready just in case and at level 60 we're gonna turn in the adamantite trident in order to do level 60 quest so once we're about to hit level 60 we will continue Okay, so we are done. We managed to get to one turn in before level 60 with about 14 turn ins. So that's not bad. So this this extra ones I'm just going to sell. So one last time. Okay. Accept. Hand over, hand over. Yes. Yep. Yep. Complete. Done. There you go. So he's now level 60 for the seventh time, even though he's actually not done any part of the story for the expansion yet. So what we're now going to do, we're going to quickly rush and finish the level 60 uh, Carboner quest. And I got the item ready ahead of time, the Adamantite Trident. So, and remember guys, uh, it's worth doing the class quests up until level 60 because you'll get four rank four crafting materials which you can use either to meld yourself or just sell them and get the gill. And, um, you know, the reason I'm getting all, all this done, one of the perks I'm going to have obviously being a level 60 in all crafts is I'll then be able to repair all my gear. So, okay. So the warning message basically said you actually have to have the master book in order to um, finish the quest. Oh god, we have to go all the way to the Convictory. Damn it. Let's go. There's quite a run, but whatever.
this is obviously is one of the uh, things is like because I haven't done any of the game story uh, so far in this ult, um, I've got a bit of running to do. So once I get to the convictory, we will continue. Okay, after 400 years, we finally made it to our destination right here. So let us talk to him. Let's finish the quest. I said the only reason I'm like flying through the uh, quest is because I've done it before. I will link in the description the last time I did it um, on Mifri. So you can see months ago when I did it on her. And I explain like the whole story and stuff as well. Usually I do record all of the story quests for the game, but I didn't bother for anything less than level 60, uh, for 50 to 60. It was, it felt some of the quests quite short, so I didn't feel a need to like spam a video every like two levels crafting. Um, so yeah, but like I said, the only reason I'm doing this now is to show you the value of getting it done. And also, just to show you the, um, like, just how simple it is when you fly through it as well. So, and if it is the first time you're doing it, then do, um, skip the cutscene. Then do pay attention to the story, watch all the cutscenes and so on. It is quite interesting. So speak to him at the Holy Stables. So we should go to the Sky Steel Manufactory. So, Aethernet, Sky Seal Manufactory. Okay, so let's talk to him. So like I said, the, the story of the, this Carpenter story for 50 to 60 is actually quite sad if you like, watch it all. Okay, so now we need to go back to the north of the Convictory. Damn it. So, once we get uh, to where we need to be, we will continue. Okay, so I made it. And don't worry, in the crafting quest, you never have to engage in any type of combat. We'll just see the uh, cutscene. As you know, I'm going to skip it. Um, I don't want any spoilers in case you haven't seen it. You, if you want to see the finished like story of this game that of the Carpenter quest line, then feel free. So where are we going now? Got over the over there. So once we get to what will basically be the end of the quest, then we will continue. Okay, so we're here. We're at the end, as Carpenter finished in Heaven's Ward. And we're going to skip the cutscene. We'll get our free materials. So obviously you could tell that that was a sad quest given that we're at a grave. But like I said, I'll, you'll have to see it yourself on the other video. Or just do the quest yourself. So anyway guys, that's it. We're now 7 out of 8 of level 60 with the power leveling guys done. Only armor to go. And in a couple of weeks when my leaves recharge... Um, I will get it done. So anyway guys, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching and as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Mr. Blue Sideburns. Bye bye.